Ladies and gentlemen, please rise.
please be seated. Welcome everyone to this most important moment in the lives of Kayla and Dalton. I invite you to leave behind the cares, the worries and the concerns of everyday life and join us in the celebration of their marriage. This is an opportunity for us to share not only the joy of Kayla and Dalton's love, but also to reaffirm and appreciate the love and friendship we experience in our own lives. May we all celebrate by being fully present during our short time together. The blessing over the wine is an ancient and time-honored element of almost all Jewish ceremonies on special occasions. It represents the love, the joy, the happiness, and the togetherness we experience on this day. Wine is one of mankind's oldest alcoholic beverages. It symbolizes so much to so many throughout countless cultures and beliefs. It's sacred to priests and poets, as well as philosophers and plowmen. <laughs> Throughout your lives, you will drink from many cups. Some will be bitter, but many will be sweet. Your life together blesses you with the opportunity to savor the sweetness. And that's what we celebrate today. All of the good that life has to offer. Wine is also about sharing. We shared many, many, many moments together. And from each of these moments throughout time, your love has grown to bring you both to this very moment. As you continue to share each other's life, you will share this wine. As you drink of it, you share with each other all the future may hold. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloenu Melak Haolam, Bore Pri Hagafen. Amen. And now, Elizabeth Jones with a reading. May the one who blessed the marriages of our ancestors bless the forthcoming marriage of Kayla and of Dalton. As two vines sharing a stake grow together, may your lives become joyfully intertwined. May this union allow the divine spirit to shine more brightly within each of you. May we, your friends and your community, support and nourish your friendship and your relationship, fostering the growth of your love and understanding, your compassion and wisdom. May the fruits of your labor always be sweet, and may we be able to continue to share in your joy. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who has kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Do you remember how they mark those? Oh, there's a piece of tape on the one that's going to there. That there it is. Ready. That's the one right there. So those are ready for whenever you want to. These rings are an unbroken circle. Symbols of your union and your love. They represent the everlasting trust and affection that you bring to one another. And are the outward and visible symbols of your inner spiritual bond. figure out here in just a second. <laughs> Yet another symbol of the struggles that we go through in marriage sometimes. <laughs> Beautiful. Perfect. Words 
are very powerful. They can be like diamonds, sharp and cutting, or beautiful and precious. The words that you are about to say to each other, words that you have penned yourselves, will be your unbreakable bond to each other. And now the couple will read their vows. You can go first. Okay. Do we want to mic it or just be loud? You can mic it if okay. you like. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so, Dalton, I uh, want to say that I'm excited to take this journey with you. Um, I love you more than you know. And I am excited for all of our lazy Sundays where we sit around and do nothing or when we stay up too late talking about literally whatever we feel like talking about for hours and hours. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> uh, I just want you to know that uh, my love for you is eternal and our family we, that we are building uh, today is going to be built on the foundation of two fantastic families. So we have a great start to go forward. Fantastic. I love it. it. The succinctness was beautiful. You're a, ma you're a man of few words and you chose them very carefully. You're a very lucky lass. The seven blessings are a, a very important part of a traditional Jewish wedding ceremony. The blessings are given to us from ancient rabbinic teachings, beginning with the blessing over the wine and ending with an expression of joy. Here to bestow the couple with the seven blessings, are Sam and Caleb. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Shehachal Bara Lik Vodo. May the life you share together be as sweet as this wine you drink today. Blessed is the source of life who created the fruit of the vine. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Yotzer HaAdam. May your love for one another always be a source of inspiration and happiness. Blessed is the source of joy who creates a wonderful, brilliant world. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Yatzar Et Hadam Betasamo, Betasalem Demut Tavnito, Vehit Khin Lo Memenu Benyan Ade Ad, Baruch Ata Adonai, Yotzer HaAdam. May your journey together be blessed with generosity and forgiveness. May you enable each other to fulfill your dreams, and may you be committed to the paths of courage and hope. Blessed is the source of generosity who created such good, remarkable people, you too. Sos tasis v'tegel hachara bechabutz b'neha lotokha b'simcha. Baruch ata Adonai mesameach ziyon b'veneha. Wherever you travel and wherever life takes you, may the love of your family and friends always echo in your hearts, even across great distances and times. Blessed is the source of love who supports the edifice of love. Sameach tesamach reim ha'uvim, chesamachai yit sircha bagan eden mechadim, baruch ata adonai, mesameach chatan vechala. With the strength of your relationship, may you help transform the world in big ways and small ways. May your love for each other be a source of warmth and inspiration for your community. Blessed is the source of healing who brings well-being to the world through her children. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bara Sason Visimcha, Chatan Vekala, Gela Rena Ditza Vekedva, Ahava Ahava Vashalom Verut, Mehera Adonai Eloheinu Yishama, Bere Yehuda Uvskutzot, Yerushalayim Kol Sason Vekol Simcha. 
כל חתן וכל כלה, כל מית כלות חתנתים, מחופתם ונערים ממשתיהם נגינתם. ברוך אתה אדוני משמח חתן עם הכלה. May you always find a refuge tucked within your love, a place to hide out and a place to reflect. Blessed is the source of safety who brings joy to the brides. Sameach tasamim ramim ha'umovim chadoshim yorit ka bagan edin mechadim. Baruch ata adonai mesameach chatan bagala. Blessed is the source of life, who creates wonder, pleasure, song, and delight. May the bride and groom be filled with gladness and rejoicing, love, harmony, and companionship. And may they be blessed with lots and lots of peace. Blessed is the source of life, who is the source of peace. Two have now become one. Indeed, although you are all both separate individuals and will continue to be so after your wedding, you have chosen to live your lives together, built on happiness and love. Baruch Ata Adonai, Elohenu Melak Haolam, Bore Pri Hagafen. That's, that's a lad, that's the way you do it. <laughs> so at this point in the, in the ceremony, um, I'm going to set the mic down because I would like to give the bride and groom uh, my own personal blessing, okay? The glass, this glass, reminds us that love is fragile and must be protected. This glass will now be broken to protect your marriage. May your marriage last as long as it would take to repair this glass. Shall we, shall we? Count after no, it's it's. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm going to stand a few feet away. There you go. All right. Go, Dalton. I've been waiting to do that for a long time. Don't shake it. Don't shake it. Shake it. I'll take it. Gingerly put it back sure. on the table. I think, I think you were very, very thorough. Very, very thorough. All right. Thank you all very much. 
Um, the reception is following at uh, the Christie, which is in your program. And at this point, we'll do the recessional. All right, one more thing. No, one more thing? One more thing. Oh, there is one more thing. Apparently, there's one more thing. I didn't know about this. <laughs> it's probably why the music didn't start when it was when I thought it was going to. Would you like to explain? Oh. You don't, you don't just give your new bride a sword with no explanation whatsoever. These people are dying. Uh, all, no, you tell them. Well, I mean, all, all of her people have swords, so I had to make sure she got one much fancier than theirs. Fantastic. That uh, is, that uh, is. All right. So, one more Mazel Tov. Mazel tov.